Okay, so question one. Question one A. Three X minus Y minus two X minus three Y. Okay, so um we can first uh get rid of the brackets. This negative we multiply it with everything inside, so it, it will become three x negative times y is going to be negative y. Negative times negative two x is going to be positive two x negative three y at the end. So we can put that terms together: three x plus two x negative y negative three y. 3x plus 2x, 5x, negative y, negative 3y, negative 4y. So this is the answer. We go to B, 1B. So 1B is 5, open bracket, 2A minus 3B, close, minus, open bracket, 6A minus 2, close bracket. Okay. So we can uh, remove the brackets by expanding. So 5 times 2a is 10a. 5 times negative 3b is negative 15b. Then negative times 6a is negative 6a. Negative times negative 2 is positive 2. Okay. We can put that terms together. 10a minus 6a minus 15b plus 2. 10a minus 6a is 4a minus 15b plus 2 there are no like terms here so it ends here we go to c so c we have 2a minus 7b minus 2a minus 3b okay so again we get rid of brackets so 2a minus 7b negative 2 times a negative 2a negative 2 times negative 3b plus 6b okay like terms together 2a minus 2a minus 7b plus 6b so 2a minus 2a is 0 so i uh, will remain with this negative 7b plus 6b it's negative b right in a zero here it's a waste of time Going to D, D we have 4, X plus 2Y minus 3X minus 8Y. So again, we remove the brackets, we expand 4 times X, 4X, 4 times 2Y, 8Y. Okay, negative times 3X, negative 3X, negative times negative 8Y plus 8Y. So like terms together, 4x minus 3x plus 8y plus 8y, okay? 4x mm -hmm. minus 3x, it's going to be half. So 4x minus 3x is going to be x, 8y plus 8y is going to be 16y. So this is the answer. We go to E. So E, we have 2a plus b minus a minus 2b okay so again we can get rid of the brackets so we have 2a positive times b is positive b positive times negative a is negative a minus 2b okay so like terms together 2a minus a plus b minus 2b okay 2a minus a it's a b minus 2b it's minus b We go to F. So F, we have 4 minus 2, B minus A minus 1. So we can expand the brackets. So negative 2 times B, negative 2B. Negative 2 times negative A, it's positive 2A minus 1. Like terms together. So we have 4 here. We have minus 1 here. Then negative 2B plus 2A. So 4 minus 1 is 3 minus 
to b plus 2a. We got question g. So question g, it's 3, play bracket, 4x minus 5, close bracket, plus 2. So we expand the brackets again, 3 times 4x, 12x, 3 times negative 5, negative 15, plus 2. So it's going to be 12x, negative 15, plus 2 is negative 13. Okay, so this is the answer. We go to the last question, question 1, which is h. So h is uh, 2, open bracket, x plus 3y, negative 3 open bracket 4x minus uh, 4x so 4x minus 2 so we expand uh, so that we get rid of the brackets 2 times x 2x 2 times 3y it's 6y negative 3 times 4x negative um, 12x negative 3 times negative 2 it's going to be plus 6 okay negative 3 times positive 2 it's plus 6 okay like terms together this and this are like terms so 2x minus 12x this is 12x here okay then uh, 6y is alone and 6 is alone 2x minus 12x is negative 10x plus 6y plus 6 is it 2x negative 12x yes that's 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 correct we got question two okay so question two we have a uh, 2a which says uh this two, it says 2a plus 3 and 3a minus 4 so we have to expand and simplify is it yes expand and simplify so 2a we multiply it by 3a so 2 times 3 6 and a times 8 a squared then 2a times negative 4 2 times negative 4 is negative 8 then a is alone it's not multiplying with any letter this side then 3 times 3 it's a 9 a 3 times negative 4 is negative 12 so like terms together a squared is alone we leave it here negative 8a plus 9a it's plus a minus 12. we got question 3 factorization so we have to factorize completely we start with our uh, 3x squared minus 27 okay so common factor here because this is not difference of two squares so uh we have to ask is there a common factor yes there is three okay so three x squared divided by three it's x squared minus 27 divided by three it's nine then here uh we can see this is a square number because it has a square root so we can write this as x squared minus three squared right so we can now factorize using difference of two squares like this Okay, if you want, you can even add these brackets. Okay. Question B, we have a x squared y minus 4 a y power 3. As usual, we look for a common factor. In this case, we can see that a is both here and here. So is y. Okay. So the common factors are a and y. Okay. So a x squared y divided by a y we remain with x squared negative 4 a y power 3 divided by a y is going to be negative 4 a y sorry it's going to be negative 4 y power 2 because a a here y power 3 divided by y it's y power 2 right so um from there uh, we have done the first step of factorized but inside here there's a difference of two squares this is a square number it has a square root it can be written as 2 to the power 2 okay so it's difference of two squares okay so this this is x power 2 minus 4 it's 2 to the power 2 
y to the power to right two to the power two is the same as four so now we can write without the powers like the way we do with difference of two squares so this is x minus two y in other brackets x plus two y if you want you can add this you go to c so c says um x squared over 4y squared minus 1 over 9 so there's no common factor here there's no factor uh, or term that is common to both this and this so what method can we use this minus should remind us that difference of two squares provided these are squares and these are squares that is they have power twos or they can be written as some number to the power two we know four we can write it as two to the power two so meaning that on the left we have x squared two squared y squared right they all have squares minus one can be written as one to the power two because one to the power two it's one and nine can be written as three to the power two because three to the power two is nine so this is difference of two squares so it can be written as x without the powers two y minus one over three again x 2y plus 1 over 3 okay so this is the answer we go to d d says 5x squared minus 5 okay again the minus reminds us of the difference of two squares but there is an issue there is no way we can write 5 as some number to the power 2 5 has no square root so we can't use difference of two squares but we can see that there's a common factor here which is 5 okay so 5x squared divided by 5 it's x squared negative 5 divided by 5 is negative 1 okay these ones now can be factorized using difference of two squares because here we have x squared 1 we can write it as 1 to the power 2 okay so we are going to have 5x minus 1 x plus 1 we go to e so e it's a uh, 32 x squared minus 50 okay again same issue we have a common factor here which is 2 so when you factor out 2 here 32 divided by 2 it's going to be 16 x squared 50 divided by 2 it's going to be 25 okay these are square numbers so we can write them as 16 is 4 to the power 2 right minus 25 it's 5 to the power 2 okay so we have 4x minus 5 4x plus 5 we go to question f this is different so we have a uh, 2ax plus 4ay minus 3bx minus 6by so this is um the type that has four terms the type that has four terms where you have to factorize this to these two if they are factorizable if they are not you need to rearrange so that you have two terms that you can factorize okay here do we have a common factor yes two goes into two and four and a also okay so two is a common factor so two divided by two sorry two and a not just two so two x two a x divided by two a we have x 4ay divided by 2a we have 2y okay we go this side what's the common factor we have negative 3 that goes into negative 3 and negative 6 and we have b okay so uh it's normal to to maybe think that the common factor is 3 okay but if we choose 3 like positive 3 negative 3 bx divided by 3 it will give you um negative uh, sorry let me just go a bit back so b is also a, is also common it's on both so let's say you choose negative uh, positive 3b as the common factor so negative 3bx divided by positive 3b is going to be negative x y because negative divided by positive is negative but the job is to make sure that what is in the brackets is the same so want x to be positive so when you get a negative x here what you do is you change the sign of the common factor so instead of positive 3b you choose negative 3b okay so negative 3b okay 
negative 3 bx divided by negative 3 negative divided by negative is positive 3 divided by 3 it's 1 b b will, will just remain with x here here okay then negative 6 by we divide it by negative 3 bx it's going to be um plus 2y okay so uh, now what is also the bracket we put it together and what is inside the bracket we put it together so this is the answer so going to question g the same kind of question question g says 6 a x minus 4 a y minus 3 b x plus 2 b y common factor here and here it's um so common factor this looks almost the same as the previous question so common factor here it's a 2 and uh, a so 6 a x divided by 2 a it's a uh, 3 x negative 4 a y divided by 2 a it's negative 2 y okay here the common factor it's a uh, negative uh it's b is b is the one that is just common no number is common here and here it's just b so negative b is common so negative 3 b x divided by negative b it's 3 x and 2 b y divided by negative b is negative 2 y okay negative 2 y so uh it's not clear but this is 3 x minus 2 y which is the same as this so what is also outside the bracket we put it together what is inside the bracket we put it together so this is it we go to question h which is the same type of question h says 4 a b plus let me just h says 4 a b plus 6 a c minus 6 b d minus 9 c d okay so here what's common we can see 2 there and a okay so 4 a b divided by 2 a it's going to be 2 b plus 6 a c divided by 2 it's going to be 3 c this side what's common 6 and 9 we can see that negative 3 is common there and d okay so negative 6 b d divided by negative 3 d it's going to be 2 b okay negative 9 c d divided by negative 3 d it's going to be 3 c okay so here it's going to be plus 3 c here i know it's, it can't be seen but there's 2 b plus 3 c which is the same as this one so what is outside the brackets we put them together what is inside the brackets we put them together 2b plus 3c we go to question i so question i we have uh, this has changed now it's quadratic quadratic expression 2x squared minus x minus 6 so we go to product and sum so what's the product product we get it by multiplying the coefficient of the x squared term and negative 6 so 2 times negative 6 is negative 12 sum is the coefficient of the x term here which is just an invisible negative 1 there okay so what are those two numbers i can think of 3 and 4 to be to give me uh, 12 so we want negative 12 i can make this negative 3 times negative 4 negative 12 3 plus negative 4 is negative 1 okay 3 plus negative 4 is negative 1. So the two numbers are 3 and negative 4. So it's going to be 2x squared plus 3x minus 4x minus 6. If you're having challenges getting this number, you need to do just uh, lots of questions. If you can do 10 questions, uh, you are good to go. It will be easy. What's the common factor here? It's x. So 2x squared divided by x is 2x plus 3x divided by x is 3. This side is negative 2 negative 4x divided by negative 2 is 2x negative 6 divided by negative 2 is positive 3 okay these ones are common so what is outside the brackets we put them together then the common ones we put them like this we go to j last question on question 3 so uh j says 3 
x power 3 minus 2 x y power 2 this is not quadratic it's something else um so common factor is 3 and uh, x okay so 3x power 3 divided by 3x so 3 goes x power 3 divided by x is going to be x power 2 this side negative 12 divided by 3 is negative 4 x y squared divided by x is y squared okay here we have a difference of two squares because we have x squared and 4 can be written as 2 to the power 2 y to the power 2 okay so it's going to be 3x um x minus 2y x plus 2y